Are you sure it was a scorpion? Yes, I thought. Okay, you take her. I'll get the kids. Hello, Pepper. Sorry, he just got bit by a scorpion. I'm gonna be okay. I'm not gonna die, am I? No, sweetheart, you're not gonna die. Now just calm down. Is she all right? Should I call for help? Over. I don't know. Um. Hello, Pepper. She'll be okay. But you stand by just in case we need you. We'll get back to you. Over and out. Is gonna be okay. You are, kiddo. I am more worried about that poor scorpion that bit you. They hate the taste of gringa. They don't bite, they sting. What's that? I'm gonna give you a little shot of cortisone, just in case you have an allergic reaction. I'm allergic to needles. Do I have to, Mom? I'm afraid so, sweetheart. Should I go get some firewood, in case we have to sleep here tonight? It's a good idea, CT. Ow! That didn't hurt so much. Didn't hurt who? Me, who else? <laughs> How do you feel now, sweetheart? Kind of weak. Sure, it's OK. I'm sure. You're probably going to get a little sick. We'll stay here for a while. What about the lost city? It hasn't gone anywhere for 1,500 years. I'm sure it will wait another day. Well? I can't say for sure, Terry. But if she is allergic, it could be bad. It's too late to travel. We'd be lost 10 minutes after the sun goes down. Let's make camp. It's all right. We are taking her to the curandero. Costa. You bought it, no hotchmack. What's a curandero? Oh, it's like a doctor. You mean like a medicine man? Yes, like a medicine man.
How are you feeling now, honey? Hmm. Cha cha. Dispense me, perro. ¿Qué es eso? Esto se piche con XC. XC se piche. It's a combination of two local plants. I wonder if George knows about it. I better check on accommodations. Kichay, listen to me now. This is the doctor for the village. He's going to make you feel better. Entiendes? Si. Bien. Hasta luego. Call me if you need anything. You bought the car, Hodge Mac. That place is neat. Who's in it? They keep it just for visitors from other villages. Tell me, Victor, you really believe in their herbal medicine? Well, you see. They do know the plants around here. They've been using them for a few thousand years. They use plants for medicine? Sure, mostly. You know, our so-called modern doctors have learned a thing or two from folks like this. Anyhow, the more you believe in any medicine, the better it works. Hey, Victor, do you speak every language there is or what? I speak Maya because my grandfather is Maya. He is? Yes. Is this the boys' dormitory? Terry. Keychain. Well, somebody's medicine. Yours or the curanderos did the trick. She's gonna be all right. I told you she was too much for any scorpion. That's great. Can I see her? Well, that's real thoughtful of you, CT, but she's sound asleep right now. And I'm gonna stay with her tonight. Uh, where's my queen size extra firm? Sweet dreams, compañero. That'll be a cinch now. Thanks, compañero. And thank both of you, too. And now, all we have to do is figure out where Site U is. Just that. <laughs> I forgot all about the lost city. Do you suppose these people could help us with that, too? If it's anywhere near here, they should know if there is such a place. My father says that he is very thankful that Kiche is better. Hachos, Botek. Thank you. <laughs> there I go again. I can't stop saying thank you for all you've done. Um, there is another way that you could help us. We are looking for an ancient city. Ruins. Keko vetu mano kasto mur. Ja na baš komenko. Turista ješ? No, we are not tourists. We are archaeologists. Keko ve ma turista obi. Archaeologovi. A ti o katako hana kakate. Katake šana kakat. Pat ješ. Malo. He wants us to have a meal with him this afternoon. Now, ruins. You might be thinking about Koba. 
No, we came from Cuba. Yes, I wish I could help you. Have you seen no mounds, no pot shirts? Oh, we could be mistaken. Our work sometimes leads us in wrong directions. Malo. Malo, kakate. Malo. Malo. Kakate. That's what makes it so strange. They were friendly the whole time, really warm. It just got kind of icy when we started talking about archaeology. No, I hesitate to say this. But I suppose they could be your looters? Well, it's possible. You could probably make a good case that the Maya rightly owned the things of their ancestors. I can't believe these people would steal. But something smells like fish. It is your lucky you won the game. <laughs> you know, that Maya sure sounds a lot like Spanish. That was Spanish. They learn in school. Brother, am I the only person in the world who only knows one language? They don't get it out in casa. Oh, at the band. Okay. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Oh, uh, hey, you guys. Uh, uh, guys, wait a minute. Uh, un momento. This, this is because I lost your ball. That's what I said. That's the way though. You always carry baseball with you. Oh, it's kind of a good luck charm. It hasn't brought us a lot of luck on this trip, but I figure if I give it away, it will. Mm. It's a silver gun He wants to give you a present. Oh, yeah? I think it's because you gave him a baseball. Yeah, because. Oh, that's a Muchas gracias. to have come from a burial site. When KJ gets stung by the scorpion, she's treated by a Maya medicine man, and he uses medicine made of plants. Lots of plants can be used for medicine, even this pretty bougainvillea. I'm here in central Mexico to talk to a woman who studies medicinal plants. Of course, KJ might have gotten better because of that shot Victor gave her, or she might have gotten better all by herself. But there's no doubt plants can be medicinal. About half of all the drugs in our modern pharmacies today are made from chemicals discovered in plants. 
Adele Bai is a botanist who studies the traditional Indian plant cures in Mexico to find out which ones work and why they do. Before the Spaniards came, this part of Mexico was inhabited not by the Maya, but by the Aztec Indians. We set off to the mountains outside of Mexico City to visit an Indian healer, a curandera, who is descended from the ancient Aztecs. We are going to, to meet Doña Sebastiana. People come from all over Mexico to be treated by her. Archaeologists have found traces of ancient gardens in this area where the Aztecs grew medicinal plants. Are we here? Yes, we are arriving. ¿Cómo ha estado, Mucho doña gusto, maestra. Mucho Qué gusto. milagro. Milagro, ¿verdad? Hasta ¿Cómo ha estado? ¿Cómo le va, niña? Le presento a Carla. Muchas gracias. gracias. Doña Sebastiana treats people for many different ailments. Usually she makes a tea to drink from different plants or a kind of paste to rub on. Sometimes she gives her patients a sweat bath in one of the small mud huts in her backyard. They, they go inside here uh -huh. and all the paper is all around this place and then all the stones are so hot that they take some water and throw the water uh, through the stones and then the vapor came <laughs> in. So they put some fresh plants inside and then all the smell of that plants are delicious, is delicious. So they heat you with those plants and you can smell all, all the things and they use a different kind of plants it depends on the ailment. Se hace sudar el enfermo. She said that it's Ayuda so warm mucho. inside with the vapor that you sweat a lot. And that's true. It, a lot, a lot. And, and she said in that way they heal the Ill, Ill people that is inside. And she goes in with them and massages them? Sure. She goes in. She's like um, the, the director of everything, the principal. So she massages the people and her daughter goes in with uh, several patients at the same time. So she directs, you have to do this, you have to do that. In that way, the daughter now uh, know how to do it. Lots of cultures, including the Mayas, have used sweat baths for centuries. In our country and in Europe, many people consider steam baths and saunas healthful. Buenas tardes, señor Rafaelito. ¿Cómo ha estado usted? Bien, gracias, señor Rafael. ¿Cómo ha estado? During our visit, someone came to be treated by Doña Sebastiana. He had an eye irritation. She showed him how to soak a certain kind of rose blossom in water and bathe his eye in it. This is the kind of treatment Adele and her colleagues might test later in a scientific way. For example, to see if there are chemicals in the flower that can soothe irritations. Doña Sebastiana must help people, otherwise they wouldn't keep coming to her. But even our doctors know that often people will get better just by believing they will. That's why it's important for Adele to try to learn if the plant cures really work and what is in them that makes them work. Doña Sebastiana invited us to the forest to find some of the plants she uses for her cures. It was supposed to be the rainy season, but the rains hadn't come yet, so it was very dry. And I mean very dry. But even though there wasn't much growing, Doña Sebastiana was able to find plants that she would use and tell Adele about them. She's saying that th that plant is called pulmonaria. This is a kind of uh, liquid, lichen that is used for medicinal purposes. Mm -hmm. So what does it help? That, they said it helps to cramps. Look at that. That is the chocoyol. El chocoyol. And this one, y esta? Esta fiate. Esta fiate. Esta fiate. Adele says that Doña Sebastiana knows hundreds or even thousands of plants and cures. She said this plant is good for when you have so in your stomach air, you have the uh, gas. Uh, gas. Mm, <laughs> Thank you. When Doña Sebastiana points out a plant Adele is not familiar with, she collects a sample to take back to the lab for identification and analysis. I'm going to press the plant. 
¿Sí se puede? Uh -huh. Aquí, bueno. aquí para, para ah, que cortar. No. Sí. Ah, bueno. She's careful not to take all of the plant, so it will keep growing. Can you help me? Sure. The people here consider the forest above their town to be sacred, partly because it is the source of so many medicinal plants. They protect the forest from harm by loggers or developers. Que te vaya bien y que te mejores, ¿sí? Ándale. Gracias igualmente. We said goodbye to Doña Sebastiana after our trip to the forest and headed back to Mexico City. Where do the curanderas learn how to use these plants? Well, you know, it's like a tradition. The mother teach the daughter and the grandmother teach the granddaughter. And it's very interesting because the most of curanderas in Santa Catarina at least they're they are uh, women because the mother teach the daughter and all that and uh, that's why they have to be in contact with, with their children because you don't know how to do it in school it's only in the family you know we are going to go today to the market called mercado sonora Adele likes to come to this market for her work. It's the largest medicinal herb market in the country, and the sight and smells of the plants and flowers are wonderful. Adele knows many of the sellers here. We stopped and asked one for something to treat my chest cold. She said that this plant is useful for cough. Cough. When you are coughing? With your cough? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's me. Yes, yeah, that's you. And uh, they prepare a, a tea, mm -hmm. an infusion of this of this flower, and then you have to drink it. Oiga, comadrita, tiene mercadela? Sí, comadre. Sí? Sí. This is the mercadela, and this is used for uh, problems in your in your um, throat. Is she a coranda? No, no. no. Uh, she heals her family, but she doesn't she doesn't uh, charge money to heal another people. Only she she heals her family. Healers and ordinary people who visit this market can find cures for everything from heart disease to hair loss. Adele is trying to learn about the culture of the Indians as well as their medicinal plants. To learn exactly how the cures work, she has to do a careful scientific study, and she does that with Dr. Javier Lasoya. His laboratory specializes in the study of traditional medicines. Perhaps I can show you what are we doing with some of these plants. Sure. Okay. This is the other part of the study, you know? Come in, please. I'm going to show Dr. Lasoya started my tour in his library. The knowledge of traditional medicine has been passed down for centuries. So here, they study the past as well as the present. The Spaniards, when came to America, they asked a lot about medicinal plants of the people in Mexico. So these books were prepared after the conquest of Mexico with the help of the Indians of those days. But these plants are still in use by our people in Mexico. So we are studying them with modern science, with technology, with all the resources we have now. Now how does this work? You find the plant in the book, then you look up and see how the Aztecs used it? Yes, we've, let's, let's make an example. We find a plant here. We read all this information about what the Aztecs thought about that plant. Then we go to the countryside to collect this plant, to prepare the same products as the Aztec did. And then we take that products to the laboratory and we study how they act in animals and in human beings to cure them. This kind of research has led to many important medical discoveries. A common plant called foxglove that was used for centuries to treat heart problems became the source of an important heart medicine called digitalis. Even aspirin. The important chemical in it was found in the bark of the common willow tree. Before modern medicine began manufacturing it, so-called primitive healers had long used it to treat pain and fever. 
There must still be a lot of plants that we don't know about. Yes, there are a lot. 90% of the plants are still not studied by science. So there is a lot of work to be done in the future. It's interesting that we can still learn from ancient people and from people we don't always think of as scientifically advanced. In the laboratory, the plants that Adele and Dr. Lasoya collect are dried and soaked in water or other liquids. Then these teas are separated into all the different chemicals by running them through a column filled with gel. That part reminded me of the scorpion lab I visited. They use the same method to separate the chemicals in the scorpion poison. And speaking of poison, it's not a good idea to eat or drink tea made from just any plant. Some of them are very poisonous. How do you know which of the compounds are medicinal? Well, because after this, we, uh, we test in different animals and we can establish which are the active compounds. When you're sick, do you ever use traditional medicine? Sometimes, yes. Uh, particularly, uh, I use it when I have general common disorders, like cough or diarrhea. There are very good traditional medicine remedies. Some disease, you can use traditional remedies. And for other disease, you must use modern medicines. Both are very useful. Certainly, we have developed a very good medicine in the last 100 years. But in many aspects, we are using the same medicine that people developed several centuries ago. No? No. This trip will make me feel differently about plants from now on. Smell it. That's it's nice to hope that some of our worst diseases might someday be conquered by a flower.